Hey guys, Min here, back with Your House Fitness, and we're going to talk about the popliteus muscle today. It's an interesting muscle. Um, it spans actually from the back of your legs and across towards your shin bone. What this does actually is two things, and it really depends on what type of movement you're doing. Uh, I'm going to do some explanation first. We have exercises such as closed chain and open chain exercises. This is another easy way to call exercises where you're like squatting, all right, or deadlifting. The popliteus muscle will externally rotate your tibia out. This allows for stability within your shin and your femur when it articulates, and allows it to actually seamlessly allow you to open up like so. If you lack the rotation of your tibia, you'll be very stuck as you descend into a squat or a hinge. But what about exercises where your feet aren't connected to the ground? Uh, for example, such as leg extensions or hamstring curl. On a hamstring curl, it does the opposite. Instead of externally rotating my tibia, like so, it's gonna internally turn it in. So if I'm doing a hamstring curl and I bring it behind me, my popliteus muscle will internally rotate my tibia to provide stability. So it's not very much a muscle where you're actively contracting it, it kind of provides a supporting role and allows for a very small movement in the lower body, but crucial for a clean squat or a clean deadlift and allow you to also have sufficient range of motion during your isolation exercises. Thank you for joining us.